Hey everybody, welcome to day two of your 100 day results challenge. Now, today's a really big topic and one I'm very excited to share with you. In fact, this topic became a game changer for me when I read a book about two years ago and I started to really implement the principle that I'm gonna share with you here today. Now, we're gonna talk, remember, about achieving results. We're not talking about goal attainment. Now, here's the reason why. Goal attainment means that we generally set a goal and then we do this thing that we're taught to do called reverse engineer, right? So we take that goal and we say, you know, I I want to make $100,000 by name your date, and then we back it out and we say, okay, here's the things I need to do by such and such a date and such and such a date in order to achieve or rather attain the goal that I'm looking to attain. Now, here's the problem with that. Where it can become destructive is when we do that and then we have our landmarks and we miss one, all of a sudden we're going, oh my gosh, I'm behind now. What am I going to do? This is terrible. And that's why many of us never attain the goal. So here's the key that I want to share with you for results achievement. Now, I'm gonna show you a book real quick. This is a book that I read a couple years ago. It's called Essentialism. It's by Greg McKeown. Now, this was a great book and something that taught me a very important principle. Greg talks about this idea of priorities. Now, you probably go into work every day and you have a to-do list, right? Or whatever it is that you're up to on a regular basis, you have your priorities. What are you supposed to be doing? Now, there's a problem with priorities, and this is what Greg taught me. Priorities is not supposed to be a plural. In fact, by its very definition, a priority is singular. It means that it takes precedence above all else. That's why it's the priority. So if you have priorities, that means that you have multiple things that are the most important. Well, you can't have multiple things that are the most important because they're all not the most important. The most important has to be the one thing that you need to focus on. And so the principle that I want to share with you today is this idea of not having priorities, but having a priority. Okay, now here's the key. You should only be doing one thing at a time. Now here's what I mean by this. A lot of us have heard that multitasking is a good thing to do. Let me tell you what multitasking does. Multitasking distracts you from getting any singular thing accomplished. The problem with multitasking is that we've got all of these things and it's like juggling, right? If you have 20 balls in the air, how likely are you to be able to catch them all? But if you have one ball, you're pretty likely to throw it and catch it. Now you may mess up, but generally speaking, you're likely to achieve a result every time you throw the ball up and try to catch it. Now, if you've got 20, how likely are you to achieve all 20 being caught and performing some magnificent thing? It's fairly unlikely. So here's what I want you to focus on. Not just today, but really the rest of your life. I want you to focus on doing one thing at a time. Here's what this means. If you have five things that you need to do today, you don't have five. You only have one until it's completed. Then you have the next until that's completed and then you have the next. So the idea is one thing at a time, one priority at a time, simplify and streamline. If you could do this, it will mean that the results that you want to achieve on a regular basis are far more likely. In fact, we're going to practice it today. Here's the result that I want you to achieve today. Today, I want you to take one single thing from your to-do list, just one. I don't care if it's your personal to-do list, to -do list. I don't care if it's your work one. Pick one thing and just work on it till it's complete. Pick something really small that's really easy to do. Work on it till it's it's complete and then be done with it. Pick one thing, work on it till it's complete. Don't do a lot, do a little, one thing at a time, and you will accomplish significantly more. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow.